Pesach is coming, and one of the most important parts of Pesach is matzah. There's a very important kind of matzah, that is the hand shmura matzah. Those are the handmade, super thin, super crispy. Well, today we are at Lakewood Shmura Matzah to find out how that specifically crispy hand shmura matzah is made. The highlight of the Pesach holiday is obviously the Pesach Passover Seder. The highlight of the Passover Seder is, of course, eating of the matzah, which is this unleavened cracker that Jews all over the world are used to as having yearly as their annual treat on Pesach at the Seder. Matzah is made from wheat, right? But it can't be wheat that is leavened. And this is where it gets very tricky and fun. Shmur matzah is matzah that has a higher level of supervision and what's, the supervision start already from the field level to make sure that already from the field it's free from any extra moisture content. That matzah comes in two varieties. Machine matzah is produced by machines which do the entire process, automated. That is where you get your square, perfectly shaped and thin matzahs produced by machines. And then you have the hand matzahs, which are everybody's favorite treat come Pesach time. They're processed and produced exclusively by hand in special bakeries all over the world. My name is Yaakov Davidowitz. You're here at uh, Lakewood Matzah Bakery, and we're gonna show you the process from start to finish in making Shmura hand round masa. Here is the flour. Next notice is a few different bins of flours. That's because there are different types of flours. The, that we, the wheat is growing all over the US. We send people to different places in the United States to cut the wheat and to bring it here. We get different types of varieties of wheat to mix it for the best tasting matzah. And some of it is more whole wheaty, some of it is, you know, sifted fine white flour. And everything mixed together, it comes out for good tasting matzah. The guy will open up the window, put the flour into the bowl, close his window, and then the water room guy will open his window and then add the water. The reason for doing that separately, you don't want any water getting into the flour room, any flour getting into the water room. That will make a problem of plummets. And then one of the workers will start immediately kneading the dough very, very quickly and very, very thoroughly to make sure that the dough becomes a smooth mixture very, very fast. Once he's finished mixing it, we'll move on to these guys over here who are gonna be kneading it. And it's about a four minute process per dough that they're gonna be kneading it until it's workable into a soft, smooth dough that they can make it into matzah. And then they will pass it on to somebody, what's known as the rolling table, where someone will cut the dough into small pieces. That's an important step, because if they don't cut the right size, it's too big, then the matzah will be too big or too thick, won't fit in the boxes. Pass it on to the table. Right now, there are eight guys on the table. The first four people will take a little round piece of dough and make it into a medium-sized dough. Okay, once you're finished, they pass it on to the next four guys who will then complete it and make it into a big round matzah. The workers will roll out the dough as thin as they possibly can because, again, you want to make sure that it gets baked as thoroughly as possible. After it gets rolled out, they move it over to another table, which is known as the Redler, which is where they make holes in the matzah with a special spike tool to make sure that the matzah gets baked fully. Then it goes right onto the sticks over here and into the oven. They rush it immediately into the oven which is kept at somewhere around 1,000 degrees with coal and wood um, to make sure that the matzahs get baked extremely quickly. Once it's in the oven, it's about 20 seconds until it's fully baked. After the oven, they go into the cooling bins. There's fans above them to help cool off the matzah. And then it goes right into the packaging room uh, to be packaged up sold and sent throughout the US. The entire process of beginning to end has to take less than 18 minutes. And therefore, when you walk into any matzah bakery, any matzah bakery in the world, you will see on the wall these big timers that are counting down from 18 minutes until it gets to zero, or usually it gets to about two minutes before zero when a buzzer rings, and therefore they know to clean up and move on to the next batch to avoid any batch from becoming plummets. The entire process from time flour hits water until the matzah's in the oven is probably not more than two, three minutes at the most before the matzahs are pulled out of the oven and cooled off and then packed into boxes to be taken home and enjoyed by your Pesach Seder. Oh, 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 oh,